Bob. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit yeah. about uh, the solution here that um, that you're delivering uh, to uh, to Paul. Yeah, I mean this this I think Paul encapsulated uh, quite a bit of it in his uh, in his remarks, but this required a, a deep solutioning exercise with, with BNY Mellon, um, and and certainly with UiPath, and and so you know the 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 goal from the from the from the outset, and I think Paul laid it out very nicely for us, was you know I want to move from a operations culture to an engineering culture. How do, how do I get there? So what we've done is um, we've combined the two. We've combined a higher training deploy model, which is the um, freshers, the retro freshers, and the upskilling model that we talked about, and we've created basically a center of excellence it's down in Lake Mary, which is a strategic location. Lake Mary is in Orlando. It's a uh, strategic location for Paul and his team. Uh, so the folks we recruited, um, they, the, the folks that come from Reverture, uh, they are they go through a pre-selection process. So Paul and his team had the ability to interview them for cultural fit, um, interview them in terms of their intellectual curiosity, their engagement, uh, their motivation to be in the, uh, the asset servicing business at BNM and Ellen, um, and to perform the job. Uh, once they matriculated inside of our training, um, they went through a you know rigorous process where we were we were building foundational skills in UiPath, but at the same time exposing them to the asset services business, asset servicing business at BNY Mellon, um, which is important because as I said, we don't want this to be an academic exercise. We want it to be a practical exercise. We want them to when they matriculate from this program, we want them to be day one job ready. Um, parallel with that, we were putting Paul's uh, SMEs, his existing employees, upskilling. We were putting them through a parallel process of of creating a citizen developer program, such that they knew quite a bit about UiPath and knew how to target manual processes within the asset servicing business. So, as these two teams went through the parallel process, they converged, and they converged with real world. BNY Mellon projects where they were automating manual processes such that when they both graduated together, they were, they presented um, uh, the outcomes. So this wasn't, this wasn't people just going through training. This was people who were going through training in a parallel and converging, working together and ultimately doing exactly what what uh, what they need to do to uh, to achieve Paul's strategic objectives of, of, of continually reducing the manual processes within his org. Um, what's very interesting to me about the solution exercise is that having worked within banks, Paul and I know each other for 30 years, having worked within banks, uh, the two of us, uh, and many of you on the call may be working for financial institutions, they're highly regulated. So when you say solutioning, you that means that we and Paul did the I think the massive amount of legwork here of aligning all the different constituencies within BNY Mellon to um, to basically allow us to automate these processes during training. So our folks were onboarded during training, and now they had access to BNY Mellon systems. Uh, and now they're working on manual processes on automating those. But that requires a tremendous number of touch points within the firm to make that work. And so um, this was, I think, one of the most interesting journeys I've ever been on, but the most interesting journey I've been on at, at Reverture, where we brought all of the BNY Mellon forces to bear. We brought UiPath forces to bear. We brought Reverture forces to bear. And the triumvirate there created um, created this outcome. So um, hopefully that gives you, and it's, and just to reiterate, um, what we're really creating here together um, is a center of excellence in Lake Mary. Um, there are other strategic locations that we're going to focus on as well in the future. Um, Pittsburgh happens to be one. Um, and this, this is the, uh, the, the combination of SMEs from Paul's team and contingent workers from Reverture's team that have a, a one-year conversion to, uh, to base a one-year option to convert into a full-time employee. And given the performance I think we've seen so far, and the excitement and the engagement that the Reverture folks have uh, within Paul's team and Paul's culture, I think, is is uh, amongst the very best I think we've ever seen, I've ever seen, um, of assimilating them and making them feel part of that organization from day one. Um, and so, it, you know, when I think about the contingent workforce and the good works of SIA, I think to myself, how can how can the contingent workforce uh, function or role 
be applied more strategically to outcomes here. So at the top of the house, you know, every C-suite has strategic objectives. How can the contingent workforce folks plug themselves into outcomes that ultimately help achieve those objectives? So with that, I'll hand it back to you, Steve. Thanks.